Man, what's good, YouTube? This your boy, Coach Dante, in the building, man. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Really appreciate you guys for always tuning in into the live streams. Appreciate all the love, all the support. Uh, thank you guys for uh, showing. Hope y'all guys had a great weekend draft, man. Really appreciate you guys so much. Um, I'd like to thank you guys that's going to support these two live streams today. But I also want to thank you guys uh, for always, you know, being grateful and always coming in to support. So, uh, other than that, let's get right into the video, man. Uh, the NFL draft came upon uh, the Houston Texans. We had a great draft. Uh, we had the best draft. Uh, and, so, and I don't know how long. This may be our best draft that we ever had in probably franchise history. Really love the draft. We took care of a lot of needs that we did need it. And to me, I think this is an A minus draft. I think this is an A draft. I mean, like I said, I think we aced everything. Um, I think we got some people that's going to come in and compete. We got some people that's going to come in and just play day one. And we got some people that's going to come in. For D'Amico Ryans with that relentless mindset, like he said, uh, that's going to swarm to the football. We also got a pass catcher, got a couple of pass catchers, and we finally got we got a goddamn quarterback that we're going to be able to rely on that's going to start from day one. No ifs, ands, buts. I thought D'Amico Ryans did say he was going to have to compete, but at the end of the day, we know he's going to be our starting quarterback out there on the football field. So other than that, let's get right into to the draft picks and let's get right into the draft picks. And I'll say this is a solid draft. Y'all let me know in the comment section. What draft is this uh Texas draft? Uh is it what would you grade in this Texas draft? I'm grading it an A. It's an A draft. So other than that, so let's get right into the nitty gritty. CJ Stroud, quarterback, Ohio State, uh and all of these guys, by the way, high profile guys. Uh, guys that want to come in and work, uh, guys that are captains. All of these guys were captains on their team. So you already got some guys with some leadership that's been a part of a locker room that commanded the respect. All the, Each and every one of these guys that we drafted were captains of their respective teams, just to let you guys know that. So C.J. Stroud, the Ohio State Buckeyes quarterback, the best peer passer, you know, in the – in college, the best peer passer coming out. Uh, C.J. Stroud, uh, 41 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, completion percentage of 66 for C.J. Stroud. Uh, you know, his signature moment pretty much, you know, was the uh, Utah game. Pretty much was the Utah game as well uh, when he burst on the scene with Jackson Smith, the Jigba, and that Georgia game when he showed that he can run up out of the pocket. Um... He's got some mobility. He can make all the throws. He's very accurate when he throws the ball. He loves to sit in the pocket. And he loves to uh, throw uh, his uh, wide receivers open. So, C.J. Stroud, definitely going to come in. Definitely going to be our starting quarterback. Davis Mills, you know, will be the backup. You know, so glad we got that out the way. Will Anderson Jr. Will Anderson Jr., for the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide, we moved up to, from 12 to 3 to get Will Anderson Jr. Got two top five players in this draft. Will Anderson Jr., 13 games, uh, 10 sacks last year pretty much. Didn't have the year that he had previous years, but he's still very good. He's still an all-SEC player. Uh, he dominated for the last three years in college. He was really good. Third player, Juice Scruggs, probably a little bit of a reach. But it was a need. He's a guy that can play guard. He can play center. Uh, Juice Scrubs, really good pickup. We got some juice in the locker room. But like I say, we got Captain Juice in the locker room that's going to come in and compete for a starting job. Uh, that means uh, Quisenberry is gone. He's going to be done. Texans going to expect, expect to cut him. He's going to be in position battle pretty much. The fourth player, my favorite, Nathan Nathaniel Tank Dell, a.k.a. Tank Dell. Tank Dell. Was big, man. Glad we stayed in Houston. Glad we had him stay in Houston. He texted uh, via to Instagram. 
Oh, uh, you don't want to leave Houston. You don't want to leave Houston. Don't let him leave Houston. Uh, CJ Stroud also texted him and said, you're not leaving Houston. So CJ Stroud definitely knew that they were picking Nathaniel Tank Dell. Marvin Harrison also tweeted, uh, CJ and Tank Dell, eyes emoji lurking. Hey, let you know, this, this pick is good. Uh, might be on a special team specialist. I can see him playing a little couple of uh, reps in the slot a little bit. A little bit. He's very dynamic. Can get open. Uh, only thing about Nathaniel Tangdale, Nathaniel he's small. He's a little bit. He's too small a little bit. But he definitely can be a return man. Punt return. Definitely will help out your special teams. Uh, for Nathaniel Tangdale. Um, thir uh, 1,300 yards, 17 touchdowns for Nathaniel Tangdale. For uh, the Houston Cougars last year. So again, we got another prospect. We got another um, nice little prospect that D'Amico liked it. Traded up again. It seemed like we traded up every. We traded up every player, pretty much. I believe uh, we traded up for to go get, pretty much. But again, we got Dylan Horton. Dylan Horton from um, TCU. Dylan Horton. Uh, we traded up to get Dylan Horton. 10 sacks last year. Tackles, 32. Dominated the Michigan game. I think he had about four sacks in the Michigan game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he was all, all over the place, all in the backfield. Dylan Horton, very, someone who's very disruptive, can get out to the quarterback. Um, I can definitely see him playing some spot, uh, some get some time on the football field. D D'Amico Ryans, when he gets in these late rounds, this when D'Amico Ryans finds his gems. The only, uh, like to me, the only in only first round pick probably was in San Francisco was Joey Bo was Bosa, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, late round picks. Uh, you had uh Ofanga, a late round pick. I don't think he got drafted, but every most of the people that he got on that defensive line. And in in that uh, linebacking core, they're late round picks. Ofonga probably was he wasn't drafted. He wasn't even drafted, and he made these guys all pro. So this is the late round guys. These this is the Mika Ryan's. This is the Mika Ryan, especially the next guy that we uh, have on that I have on this list, Henry Toto, uh, transferred from Tennessee, uh, was first team All SEC in Tennessee, came. To uh, Alabama, second team on SEC, uh, 94 tackles, 2.5 sacks. Captain, he's going to play day one. I'm telling you, Henry Toto is going to play day one. Uh, D'Amico Ryans went up and got him. Went up and got him. He's going to play day one. He's going to be a day one player. He's going to be a popular day one starter. I can feel it. Alabama ties, Alabama connection. Yahweh Anderson, John Mechie. John Mechie, uh, you have all of a sudden D'Amico Ryan's coaching, who's an Al Alabama modern. Henry Toto is going to play. He's going to play. And he's back with his best friend, Christian Harris. Henry Christian Harris was real tight in college. So Henry Toto moved up to go get his guy. He's going to play day one on the field. He's going to play day one on the field. Another interesting guy, Jared Patterson, offensive line, Notre Dame. Jared Patterson, uh, we do, I think that's the one only person that that's uh him and Brandon Hill that I'm about to talk about in a couple after uh, I announced the uh number eight pick that we got number eight draft pick that we actually got. I think we stay put to get Jared Patterson and Brandon Hill, but Jared Patterson in his career played uh 1600 games, no sack. That's interesting stat. 1600. 1,600 games, no sack for Jared Patterson. That's 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 crazy. That's insane. Don't be surprised if he beats a day one starter because him and Juice Scruggs, those two are going to compete for a starting job. We know quick. He's another versatile guy. Can play uh can play right guard and can play uh center. He spent most of his career playing center though. Play center though. He has more reps in center than he has at right guard. But he's another versatile along with Juice Scrubs. They can play uh guard and center pretty much. So those two are gonna be battling for you know the starting center position. The next one, 
I really love this guy. Don't be surprised. Nico Collins better watch out. Nico Collins better step up. Nico Collins has a history of not playing on the field or not staying on the field. But when he's now, no excuse for Nico Collins. He got the quarterback. He got the quarterback that's going to put the ball in the, in the spot, right spot. That's not going to throw the ball seven foot in the uh, over his head. Um, and he's also got an injury history. But Robert Woods as well. I wouldn't be surprised. This is my wild card for a day one starter. This is my wild card. We know John Metchie's playing the slot. We know he's going to play most in the slot most of the time. We know Robert Woods. I think I'm, we can all be safe to say Robert Woods is going to be getting playing time. We know Nico Collins is going to be the starter. But Nico Collins, better watch out. I'm telling you. Robert Woods, better watch out because I think this guy is going to actually play. And he's a wild card for me. I'm not saying he's going to start. He's going to uh, for sure start. But he's a wild card for me. Dark horse to start. Xavier Hutchinson. Xavier Hutchinson, Iowa State, killed my damn Texas Longhorns. Xavier Hutchinson, 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns for Xavier Hutchinson. PFF grade, 89. Catches 50-50 balls. You know, don't got the speed. Don't got the speed. It's a very good playmaker. We'll go up and get it. We'll go up and fight for it. We'll come down with it. Win at the line of scrimmage. Can get off the line of scrimmage. Xavier Hutchinson. Twitter was booming when we got this guy. This guy is a steal in the draft. To get him in the sixth round. Plus, we moved up. To get Xavier Hutchinson, hell of a pick by D'Amico Ryans, hell of a job by Nick Casario and, and uh, McNair's, hell of a job. Dark horse for a day one starter, Xavier Hutchinson. Last but not least, Brandon Hill. Brandon Hill, uh, 70, 67 tackles uh, last year. Um, very good, very good playmaker. Come up hit, come up a tackle. Very, very solid in coverage. But other than that, like the Houston Texans draft, uh, Houston Texans family, love what I seen, love what D'Amico Rice did, love he got aggressive, love he got aggressive, went up there and got his guys. And like I say, CJ, Will Anderson, Juice Scruggs, uh, Nathaniel Tank, Tank, Tankdale, Horton, you got uh, Henry Toto, Jared Patterson, Hutchinson, potential, one through eight, it's all day one players. One through eight is day one guys. Brandon Hill may be a special teamer. Um, Tank Dell, pop a return man, a kickoff return man, special team, special punt return man, and a kickoff return man probably can get some snaps here in the slot, you know, in case John Manchin comes off the field, probably get some snaps here and there. Uh, Hudson, Dark Horse as a starter. Uh, right there, Henry Toto, definitely going to play. He's definitely playing. He's definitely getting on the field. They won, I think so. Jared Patterson, Juice Scruggs, compete from the starting spot for the center position, something we desperately needed on that offensive line. Uh, but other than that, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Would you give the Texans grade A for me? They get an A. They killed the damn draft. Uh, they're one of the winners in this draft, and we got our team of the future, man. We started a new rebuilding era. And we comment, comment, like, and subscribe. We see you guys later on, guys.